What's going on guys? It's Storm here, and today I'm just going to be doing a quick little commentary um, expressing my opinions and views on why Favela was banned and whether or not I agree with it. And in case you guys don't know yet, um, it's been all over YouTube, but if you haven't seen it yet, um, Favela on MW2 has been banned online. It's still available in private match, but the reason it was banned is because um, in one of the bathrooms, there's a picture, and on the picture frame it says something about um, Muhammad, or by Muhammad, and uh, the quote specifically says, Allah is beautiful and he loves beauty. That's the quote that's written in the picture frame. And it's not obviously the quote specifically that's offensive to the Muslims. Um, it's the fact that they placed it in a bathroom, and in their religion, it's apparently forbidden for anything to be written or seen about um, their gods in a bathroom, because they consider that to be offensive. And while I do kind of, um, I see where they're coming from as far as this being offensive to their religion and whatever, but I kind of disagree with the decision to ban the map from online play. The first reason is that if it's that offensive and you leave it in online, why wouldn't you take it away from private match too? Um, obviously if, say, a Muslim's playing and the map favela comes on in online, they could obviously just back out or um, vote skip it or whatever. And before you say that that's completely offensive and they shouldn't have to do that, it's still in the game anyway. I mean, it's in private match. It's not like it's not there. They still have the choice whether to play or not, just like they would on online if they kept it there. So it's not like they still don't have a choice whether to play the map or not. It's still technically in the game. Another reason is that I don't think Infinity Ward was trying, obviously, to be directly offensive or anything, because that exact same picture is scattered throughout the entire house. Um, it's not like it was just placed over the toilet, just so it could be offensive to their religion. Another reason I kind of disagree with this is that um, there's plenty of offensive things in video games already. Um, as far as race goes, as far as religion goes, that kind of thing. I mean, I'm just going to use this as an example. It's kind of a rough example, but games that use the N-word, I mean, that's completely offensive to African Americans or anyone. But you don't see them shutting down the entire game or levels with those words on them. A couple other reasons is the game's been out, what, five years now? I really don't think that stopping that map from being in online play is going to really change anything as far as what's been seen, what's there. Um, if they're that offended by it, they know it's there. Don't go into that building. Um, I just I just don't see how taking it off only online is going to actually change anything. We still have it private match, we still have it for whenever we want to play it. And this is the very same game where we have a mission, um, that obviously it's one of the missions where you can choose whether to skip it or not. But it's a mission where it's like directly targeting you playing as a Russian, and you go in and shoot up an airport. I mean, obviously that's going to be offensive to the Russians, They don't you don't see that in taking that out of the game completely. And yes, I, I do understand that religion's a whole nother thing, but when it's an example as small as this, um, if it's if it's taken them five years to find it, it's not like it's profound in the game. Um, it's not like it was purposefully trying to be offensive. And I know that almost the entire community that still plays MW2 wants the map back. I think they're being a little too soft for a game where the whole purpose of when you go into multiplayer is that you're playing on a team and depending on what team you are, you're either shooting Russian or American soldiers. I mean, I think people forget about that when they play the game, but you're going into the game and you're shooting troops from a certain country. I mean, I think if it's a rated M game, we need to go and um, remember that's not a game for the lighthearted. Now, I, I don't know that religion too closely or anything, so I'd, if I said anything that was offensive in this video, I obviously didn't mean it. Um, I'm just kind of making some comparisons of that religion to things that we see every day in society now, and I don't think it's a good enough reason to ban the map from the game. But you guys can let me know whatever your opinions are down below. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, maybe give me some insight as to why it's so much more offensive than anything else we've seen. If you enjoyed the video, like, rate, subscribe, anything. Please give me some feedback, guys. Thanks so much for watching.